Today we're going to be teaching you guys all about the digestive system of cute little calves like her, all the way to sheep and goats and full-grown cows. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. So today we processed a lamb and we kept its digestive tract, intestines, compartments of the stomach, so that we could show you guys a little bit about the inner workings and what it takes to digest the hays and grasses that these animals are normally eating. Because we as humans can't make use of them. Animals like this calf here can because of their super complex and very exciting digestive system. So we're going to show you all about it. So we're here with the intestinal tract of the sheep that was just processed today, as well as the lungs and the liver. And we're going to tell you guys a little bit about each of the different pieces um, that go, uh, each of the different organs that help this sheep sustain life. Um, the first important feature is their digestive system. And a sheep is a, an animal known as a ruminant animal, so they have the same digestive system as a cow. And that means that this big section right here, this super large, which, I mean, if you saw the size of of the sheep was not very large at all and this large section here is called the rumen and it's where fermentation happens so the sheep breaks down the grasses and the hays that it's eating through a process known as fermentation and then there are several other sections of the sheep's stomach that are pieced out here along the way the next up from the rumen is the reticulum which is this lower section right here and then off to the side we have the omasum and the abomasum, which is covered a little bit right now by some visceral fat. So we're going to dig that section out before we show you the whole thing, pieced out, piece by piece. Um, we also have some lungs right here that Kylie has in front of her. In the Those heart. are the sheep's lungs. The heart is right there with them. And then back here, what do you have, Kylie? We have the um, liver and the kidneys. And the gallbladder. Well, yeah, the bladder is attached to the liver. Yeah, so the liver is responsible for detoxifying the blood, getting anything out of there that shouldn't be in there. The gallbladder releases bile, um, which helps break down fats. Um, the lungs, of course, are for breathing. The heart is for pumping blood. And this whole digestive tract here, which the esophagus is up there. Here are our intestines. We're going to separate this all out so it's a little easier to see for you. But this whole section right here is what's responsible for that sheep being able to eat and digest its food. So the first section of the digestive system is this room in here, which is this larger upper portion. In here, microbes or microorganisms work to break down the cellulose and the, you know, the really hard to break down plant starches of the food that the sheep is going to be eating. Um, after this section, once those microbes have break, broken down the food into really tiny little fibers, uh, we go into the reticulum, which is just this lower section. It's actually connected to the rumen. But the reticulum is a little, kind of like a drain catch. So how you have a little U in your drain so that if you happen to drop anything down there that you don't want to lose, you're still able to go through and collect it. So this keeps things like wire or sharp material or foreign objects of any kind from entering the rest of the cow's digestive tract. Because if something sharp gets into the intestines and punctures those, that animal will die. So this area really just serves as a safety to keep, you know, the wrong thing, things that are not food, from so the next section of the stomach, after it's been digested by microbes in the rumen and the reticulum, the ingesta, or ingested material that that animal has been eating, moves on to the omasum, which is this circular ball right here. It's a little squishy. You can kind of see that as I touch it. it it's almost like an inflated jelly ball. <laughs> but what is in there is actually folds upon folds upon folds of tissue. Um, and those folds serve to sift everything coming out of this rumen and reticulum sift it through to make sure it's small enough and it's been digested far enough that it can continue on. If it's too thick to fit through, then it spends more time in here to be by digested by those microbes. But if it's small enough, it's able to pass through the folds and into the abomasum, which is this next section here, this long kind of skinny section. And this abomasum is actually just like our stomach. It digests using enzymes and hydrochloric acid um, very, very similar to our own. They're almost exactly the same, actually. Um, and that's the final step of the digestive system for this cow in terms of breaking things down. It moves after that into the small intestine, which is this little section here, and then into these smaller intestines. And this is just fat. We can ignore that section. But these smaller intestines here are our small intestine. A little bit of um, enzyme action can break some things down there, but mostly it's absorption 
absorption of vitamins, nutrients, you know, minerals, anything that that animal will need. After that, it moves on into the large intestine, which is this much larger <laughs> section that we see there. And in the large intestine, not any amount of, you know, appreciable amount of digestion is happening there. Mostly it's water absorption. It's absorbing the rest of the water from what was ingested before it is then excreted from the animal um, as fecal matter or as waste. Okay, so now we're going to cut into different sections of the digestive tract and be happy that you're behind a screen rather than here with us. Stink. It's going to stink real bad. It actually smells better up here where the fermentation is just beginning to happen than back there in the, the intestines. We will not be cutting that open because ew. <laughs> but up here, just going to be a little bit of a smell and I'm going to show you the inside of the omasum, which is that section where it has the many, many folds of tissue. And we're going to show you what that looks like inside because it's actually a very cool look. Ooh. It went flat. It deflated, it deflated. Ooh, and let me tell you, it. the rotten egg smell is unreal right now. So this here is our omasum. We've cut just a little section of it open. And you can see this green material or goopy looking stuff is actually what's being digested in, um, in this omasum. But the little section, so I see this layer of skin that layer of skin, and it's, I guess skin is the wrong word, tissue would be a better word, layers upon layers of tissue in there. And I'll grab a scalpel and cut it open just a little bit more so you can see more of the inside, but you can tell already all these different little tiny layers of skin that are the filtration system that this omasum is known for. It's about to get real. Uh, the omasum is bad enough. We're gonna cut open the rumen, and I'm gonna show you, you're gonna get to watch it deflate a lot of this size, as I squish it, it's not that there's actually this much material in there. A lot of it is, you know, think about fermentation happening, it's releasing a lot of gases. Um, and so as I puncture this, it's going to deflate in a very funny manner. So we hope you enjoy that. We're having a good time. Um, we hope that you're learning a little bit about the sheep's digestive system. So you can watch this happen. Would you like to do the honors, Maddie? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Is there as a good place No, to... you can just poke it. <laughs> it's going to deflate. A little bigger hole. <laughs> there you go. It wants to hold on to its air material, but you see that all of that was air. And now the rest of this, this is a very full sheep actually. The rest of this is all digested material. And I can actually see some of it through the walls of the rumen. Maddie's gonna go ahead and open it up a little bit further for us. Awesome. And we can show you a little bit about what this looks like in here. So that's, we call it ingesta. It's the material that's being digested by the sheep. And you can look at how this is different. And I'm finding sticks and things that actually still resemble what the sheep would be eating. These sticks aren't going to be able to pass through this omasum down here. If you found a stick in the omasum, there's a problem with your sheep. Um, because th things like this should be digested further before being allowed to pass on into that omasum. So this area here, if we were to take some of this material and look at it under a microscope, we could actually see some of those microbes that are in there that are digesting things. It has to be a very powerful microscope. But still, they're in here. Um, they are really the only way that sheep and cows and other ruminant animals are able to survive is with the use of these microbes. Otherwise, they would not be able to eat and digest these hays and these grasses. So it's a very important relationship. So you can see, you can get on close in here with the camera. And Maddie had a good idea to pull this back. You can see this little lining, all these little uh, finger-like projections. These are what help the cow absorb what is being released through the digestion process in the rumen. Because the cow, rather than utilizing carbohydrates in the same way that we would, you know, our body digests carbs really easily. That's a really quick energy source for us. We make ATP. The cow actually does something a little bit different. They utilize what is known as a volatile fatty acid, which is what is released by those microbes through that digestion process. And these volatile fatty acids, or VFAs, are absorbed through the wall of the rumen. So all, but all these little finger-like projections are just there to add a little bit more surface area so that they can do more digestion and more efficient digestion or absorption. Um, through the rumen before the material passes through the omasum and into the abomasum and eventually out of the cow or sheep. So now we're going to show you what happens in this 
fourth chamber of the stomach, the abomasum here. So you've seen how it goes from still looking like roughage, maybe kind of churned up uh, mash from grasses and hay into much smaller, fine particles that look like they've been sifted out. The smaller pieces are only there into what is, you know, what it looks like in this abomasum here, which utilizes hydrochloric acid and enzymes to digest mainly proteins and fats, um, a little bit of carbohydrate digestion, but most of that is happening in this section here. And so we're going to see what it looks like in here, if it looks anything like either of these two materials once it's passed through the abomasum. So we'll cut this open here for you and plug our noses up. And you can see that what's in here is much finer. It's almost like a soup. It's almost uh, a liquidy material. You don't see those same, you know, in the omasum, we're seeing still particles, much smaller, finer particles than in here. But then we've actually moved into almost, you know, if you stuck something in a blender and you added liquid and just blended it and blended it and blended it, this would be your final product. Whereas this would be your beginning, you know, in your middle section when you think you need a little bit more blending to happen. This is that final stage of digestion. From here, it can move on into the intestines where all of the nutrients are absorbed and then can be utilized by the ruminant animal. Hey, thanks for learning with us today. I hope you learned a lot about the ruminant's digestive system. Uh, this little heifer here will be moving on to hay pretty soon. We'll keep you updated on her growth. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave us comments about what you might like to see in future episodes. We'll see ya back on the ranch.